Hi, it's Marilyn. What I want to talk about today is I want to talk about one of the best ways to improve your relationship with yourself. Now this is counterintuitive, so get ready. And that is to lower your expectations. Wow, what does that mean? It doesn't mean that you're supposed to get sloppy and eat a lot. What it means is that we are raised with the concept of self-esteem. We are trying to please our parents, people in our world, our bosses, loved ones, etc. And as a result, we impose the same kind of thing on ourselves where we're trying to please ourselves. I say, stop it. I say, don't do it anymore. I say, sit down with yourself, do a couple of word of the day clusters, and start to accept the fact that perhaps some of the expectations that you have for yourself aren't even yours. How about that? How about that? When you're a little kid and you have grades and your parents say, why aren't your grades better? You don't even know what grades are. How are you supposed to know what they are? Yeah, how are you supposed to know what you're, how, yeah, how do you even know what they are, what that concept is? That there's so much stuff that is imposed on us from the outside that we accept as being true. <clears throat> so one of the really good ways to start off any part of a new project, your year, tomorrow morning, this minute, is to sit down with yourself and do a word of the day on expectations. Start with expectations. What are your expectations of yourself? Remember, the whole difference in this work is that you are treating yourself as if you were a loved another person, a separate person who gets to be listened to like you would someone you love. Okay, and then you start with that. What are your expectations? Now, if you start to have an argument this soon, you'll fail. What you need to do is just list them. Go for two to five minutes, list them all. Don't, don't make a fuss out of it, just do it. And then take that big cluster, which is probably gonna be a big messy cluster full of words, take one of them, and then do another cluster about that word from the perspective of expectations. It could be food or money or clothes or, or how much, you know, if you're a writer, how many pages you're supposed to get done, any of these demands that you make on yourself. I'm not saying that you shouldn't make demands on yourself. What I'm saying is sometimes you have to recalibrate them based on what is possible. So if you like what I'm talking about, come join me on YouTube, Instagram, or LinkedIn.